The Lakers off to a slow start. Pass to Hachimura. And the dunk by Hachimura. Boy, the former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts, he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. Here's James following the through by the Lakers. He's so good at creating his own shot. He's just got an endless supply of moves. LeBron James. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Shoots again, Los Angeles. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark finally puts LeBron out in front? Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game. LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Russell. And it's Davis at the elbow. Here's James. James covering. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. Good, and the assist goes. Hello and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports this Tuesday evening. Alongside Grant Hill and Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, our reporter, I'm Brian Anderson. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. An interconference matchup. Now last year they beat this team in both games. And now that we're late into the season, Grant, what do you think teams are trying to accomplish? Well, you know, B.A., for the playoff teams, it's all about getting the best seed in matchup possible. And, of course, for those lottery teams, just continuing to develop and build winning habits. Such an intelligent playmaker. LeBron spots the openings and exploits them. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Now, here is James. An important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. The fadeaway. Porzingis grabs the board. White on the wing. 
from deep. The Lakers with a rebound. James attacking. Soft touch off the glass. James has got five points. Woo, LeBron went right through them. A little contact won't trip him up. To the inside. Kick out to Brown. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. I love whenever Porzingis hits the offensive boards. He has the height needed to hurt defenses in this regard. Watching Murrow from long range. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Here's Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And it's Hachimura missing. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Brown, no good. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. Outside for Russell. There's Davis with the three. It's hauled in by White. Outside Holiday. Porzingis for three. Can't hit. One for two now. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Pass to Davis. Hits a three-pointer. You like how Anthony Davis uses the entire perimeter, finds a shot down in the corner, and sinks it. Well, Smitty is a ball handler. D'Angelo Russell is a pretty complete player offensively. Yes, he is, B.A. He's very smart with the ball. He knows how to create shots for others and himself. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here is James. Five points in the game. Outside Tatum. Driving inside. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Tatum's got his third basket of the night. Pass to Russell. Inside. Hachimura. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Here's White. And that one's long. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Austin trailing. Now here's Holiday. Back to Porzingis. Here's Brown. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Terrific initiative from the swing man. Brown is smart and understanding when to look to score inside. James goes in. It's good. James has got seven points. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Here's Tatum. A good look from Brown. Gets it to go from the corner. Brown's gotten a second bucket. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Brown gets the bucket. An all-NBA level player, Jalen Brown has done a great job with his jumper. Pass to Reddish. It's Prince on the wing. And there's the call on Al Horford. Well, that's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the Nine seconds left to play in the first. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. And finished off by Tatum. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. 
Ooh, good defensive mm -hmm. intensity, but you have to stay in control always. Mm -hmm. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. for opportunities leading to nine points in the quarter we'll be back in a moment 18. and close game underway so far we'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for los angeles well in my opinion the way the three has been falling for them here early on you have to think They'll keep firing away. But also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Pass to Vincent. James outside. LeBron fires one down. Not much is better than a LeBron James flush. Woo -woo. Here's Hauser. Now the Lakers moving it up. James, that's good. James has got 13. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Out to the right wing. Screen by Horford. Rebound, the Lakers. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. James, outside. Close the net on two minutes played here in the second. Russell with the ball. Now Horford defending. Five to shoot. LeBron without hesitation. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Outside for Russell. Jacks up a three. Davis. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers leap by five. There are just few guys can own the glass like Anthony Davis. He makes the play before the defense can retreat. Horford can't hit. So it's the Lakers now. Here's James. And slam dunk by James. If you're the defense, you have to get back. LeBron, a monster out in the open court. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. The Lakers are trying to get back in contention. LeBron James said, we want to win at the highest level. Setting records or passing greats in a losing effort has never been in my DNA. That's never mattered unless it was all about winning. Brian, they're still trying to translate his individual greatness into another title. Yeah, that's the goal. All right, Allie, thank you. Hachimura from long range. Count it. Two for four from the field now. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Back to Porzingis. Outside, Brown. Shot to stop the run. He can't get that one to fall. 
Excellent D there from Davis. To the middle. And stolen by Brown. Here we go. Here's Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Creating havoc. Brown keeping his body moving on defense and making things happen. Pass to Reeves. To the paint. Outside for Russell. Here's Prince. Hachimura from long range. That one doesn't go. He's just two for five. Here's Brown. Drives to the hoop. And it's blocked by Davis. And stolen by Porzingis. Now White. Oh, send it home, Derek White. And the way that White attacks. I love how he asserts himself and takes it to the rim. Down low. Outside for Russell. Back to Davis. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Pass to Reeves. From the arc. The shot won't fall. Got it up. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Lakers on top, up four. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Brown. The quick look, no good that time. At some point, when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. Some coaches might not like taking the three on the fast break, but he had the open look and buried it. It's really part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right, he's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Back to Achimura. White with the steal. Brown with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. White on the wing. Here's Brown. And he drains the turnaround, Jay. Brown's got nine points. Great execution. He got the ball in the right spot, and he delivered with the turnaround. And it's slammed in by Achimura. Assisted. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. James, outside. Pass to Achimura. Six to shoot. And here's James. He takes it in. James carves his way inside. It's been a pleasure, as always, to watch LeBron work. A truly gifted player. And here's Brown for three. And Reeves pulls it down. Back to Russell. Pass to Reeves. Out left to the wing. Here's Davis. Back to Reeves. Out to James. Holiday grabs the miss. Los Angeles foul. Anthony Davis. Second personal foul. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Here's Brent. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Not just hanging out on the perimeter. Prince showing his versatility and can challenge you at the rim. 
From beautiful location on the pass, as usual, led his man perfectly. Pass to Prince. Davis from long range. The shot, no good. Boston trailer. It's Brown on the wing. Holiday surveying the floor. Now here's Horford. Porzingis with it. Shoots over Davis. And that one's good. Porzingis. Porzingis has got eight. The underrated vision of Holiday. I like it when he's distributing, and I think his coach does as well. Reeves. And out of bounds. Austin will have it. Misread each other on the pass. Tried to recover, but too late. The Celtics making a switch here. It's a close game here in Boston. Outside Holiday. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe now. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up. But it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Hachimura. Seven points in the game. Back to Reeves. The three. Holiday grabs the miss. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. I mean, it's amazing to watch AD at his size dance with the rock and create space for his shot. Over to the left wing. I got him, I got him. Tillman with a screen. Outside Holiday. Pass to Brown. And that's not going to go. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Here's Vincent. Now, here is James. Here's James on the wing. Pass to Reddish. And it's James with the jam. Love the unselfishness. Not only can Cam create for himself, he can also create for others. Horford outside. Horford gets it done inside. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Left side Reddish. Pass to Vincent. Here's Prince. James outside. Here's Vincent. Knocks it down from distance. Vincent. Vincent's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Out to Horford. Outside Tatum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Cam Reddish. An ascending superstar, Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He was pumping them up, saying, those guys had no idea what they were in for tonight. We've come this far. Don't let up now. And guys, he's going to be stoking the fire until the win is in the books. And Allie, thank you for that. He's perfect from the line this time. Starting in his rookie season, Jason Tatum's been a primetime player, someone you expect to dominate playoff games. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. 11 feet out. 
Pass to Porzingis. Outside White. Tatum from long range. Jason Tatum, he's a sharpshooter. It's not surprising to see Tatum taking over offensively. I mean, he's capable of doing this on a nightly basis. Screen by James. James double team to the left wing. Hayes for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. And so they foul intentionally. Here's White. And the Celtics tack on two more. What a beautiful shot by Derek White. I love how fast he acts in these situations. On the wing, Reeves. Out to the wing. Pass to James. Five on the clock. To the paint. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. They get it back. Davis. It's James on the wing. With the clock winding down. The defense is all over LeBron, so he gets physical to ensure he's fouled while shooting. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Lakers. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. We also got to highlight how on fire they've been from three-point land. They've continued to capitalize from beyond the arc in this one. Oh, assertive play there by Brown. Rising to the challenge of the moment. Pass to Russell. Here's Reeves. James outside. Now Achimura. On the wing, Reeves. And the three-pointer goes. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. James, outside. Launches it. And another three for the Lakers. A smart decision maker with a versatile skill set. Hachimura always takes the shots that he's comfortable with. It's going to be on LeBron James. That'll be a second foul of the game. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Outside Tatum. Let's it go from deep. And Reeves pulls it down. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Reeves. For three. Connects from downtown. And the Lakers lead by 10. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on them. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Back to White. And here's Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his third foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Personal foul. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. There's Tatum with the three. Rebound by the Lakers. It's tipped. Tatum with a steal. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Russell. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. The control of LeBron inside. He knows just how to get to his look. And here's Brown for three. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this 